So to the wonderful drivers um, in my channel, hope you're having a great day, hope everything is going well so far. I'm over here at LAX waiting on a client and um, we always want to keep uh, or be informed about the news that these uh, companies bring out. You know, what are they doing for drivers? What decisions have they made lately? Uh, what's going on in the stock price, etc. I mean, there's a lot of moving variables on a daily basis, right? But I thought I'd share this. This is from a great um, reliable source that I always um, read daily. TechCrunch, great tech news. Uber has laid off 435 employees. Just remember, they just laid off 400 now, an additional 435 employees across its product and engineering teams. The company announced today combined the layoffs represent about 8% of the organizations with 170 people leaving the product team and 265 people leaving the engineering team. Just think on how awful those people are feeling today. The layoffs had no effect on Eats, which is one of Uber's top performing products and freight according to a source familiar with the situation meanwhile the company is lifting the hiring freeze on the product and engineering teams that has been in effect since early august according to the source our hope with these changes is to reset and improve how we work day to day ruthlessly prioritizing and always holding ourselves accountable to a higher bar of performance and agility. An Uber spokesman told TechCrunch. So just yeah, let's just look at that word ruthlessly. This, this is not me making up this name. This is not the reporter making up this name. This comes directly. These are chosen words, carefully chosen by Uber spokesman, by their CEO. They use the word ruthlessly right and I'm sure you will agree with me that most of the decisions that they make is without heart right is out was without zero compassion towards the drivers or many times also the riders but it is a ruthless decision right that is a very very powerful word my friends you know words have a lot of meaning words have a lot of power to throw that word in there ruthlessly to me it says it all it, it shows you where the mindset is they will walk over people they will stampede people ruthlessly to get to their goals now if I could just make one ruthless decision and that would be to fire pretty much 90% of the executive team I wish that we could put our ruthless boots on and our ruthless gloves on and then we could just hit the delete 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 profile and these executives were deleted from the company database and we'd never have to deal with them again sadly I don't have the power to do so but I think if the company wants to be ruthless if the investors and shareholders want to be ruthless that is where you need to start you need to start with Derek and not the other way around Derek Kay now you know, blaming product engineers and, and the product team and cutting back their 400 and another 435, but rather having the shareholders and the investors, uh, you know, that put the money in to make this happen, ruthlessly make the decision that these guys need to go, right? While certainly painful in the moment, especially for those directly affected, duh, uh, we believe that this will result in a much stronger technical organization which going forward will continue to hire some of the very best talent around the world. Of those laid off, more than 85% are based in the United States, 10% in the Asia Pacific and 5% in Europe and Middle East and Africa according to the source. The layoffs came after Uber CEO Dara Koshro, God, I can't even say that name, uh, Derek Kay asked every member of his executive leadership team if they were to start from scratch would their respective organizations uh, would their respective organizations would like the way they do today 
After careful consideration, our engineering and product leaders, leaders concluded the answer to this question in many respects was no, the spokesman said. Right, so asked every member of his executive leadership team if they were to start from scratch, would their respective organizations would look like they do today? And they answered no. Those leaders are Chief Product Officer Manik Gupta and CTO Thuan Pham. Now, I think I've made videos about the CTO. My friend, if they still have that guy in that position after that balloon ordeal with the $200,000, it just shows that they're too afraid to chop leadership, right? Incompetent leadership needs to go. And while we're on the topic, they need to ruthlessly be sent out the door, right? They looked at team size, identified duplicate roles and overlapping work as well as individual performance to determine who would be laid off, the source said. That's how they landed on focusing more on the design and research teams from the product side. Now, okay, all you're trying to do in my eyes is, is trying to save your stock. I mean, you're on 30, you're trading on $31 something, right? You're at a record low. You're trying to stop the bleeding and you basically say, hey, we've made some mistakes. You're not saying we've made mistakes by the mistreatment of drivers and the way we've treated our labor force. No, you're saying, hey, we've made mistakes by um, spending too much money on these 400 plus 435 people, 835 people. They cannot take ownership for the fact that they are constantly screwing up and we are constantly bailing them out. Previously to meet the demands of a hyper growth startup, we hired rapidly and in a decentralized way, the spokesman said. While this worked for Uber in the past, now that we have over 27,000 full-time employees in cities around the world, we need to shift how we design our organizations, uh, lean, exceptionally high performing teams with clear man mandates and the ability to e execute faster than our competitors. These layoffs come shortly after Uber laid off 400 people from its marketing team. In Q2 2019, Uber lost more than 5 billion, its biggest quarterly revenue loss to date. Though a chunk of its losses were a result of stock-based compensation expenses for employees following the company's IPO in May. While it may seem these layoffs are in response to those quarterly losses, Uber says the conversations have been ongoing as Uber layoffs as Uber layoffs its W2 employees it's simultaneously investing in ensuring its 1099 independent contractors remain classified in that way in light of gig worker protection bill AB5 advancing through the California legislature Uber along with Lyft and DoorDash put 30 million dollars each toward a 2020 ballot initiative that would enable them to keep their drivers as independent contractors. If AB5 passes, Uber would see a significant uptick in costs. Uber is currently trading at 33.14. Guess what? It's way lower than that. Uh, well below its IPO pricing of 45. Folks, they're just trying to stop the hemorrhaging and the bleeding, right? Um, they're unwilling to take responsibility on the top, <clears throat> shifting the blames on engineers and the product team, ignoring, completely ignoring the bulk of the, you know, here they talk about 27,000 employees worldwide, right? We make up 3 million drivers. Are they addressing those 3 million drivers? No. Um, are the shareholders and investors addressing the failures of the executives? No. But to shift blame, what these guys are cleverly doing, you know, obviously trying to rescue another band-aid, another band-aid on the IPO downfall is like, hey, let's just show investors we're cutting some costs. I think it's all the right, wrong decisions in the wrong places, to be honest. And I think if investors and shareholders support this type of thinking they're setting up they're setting themselves up for the next failure for the next failure for the next failure you got to address your labor force you got to keep drivers happy
Have a great day, my friends. I have nothing more than that to say. Enjoy wherever you are. Please drive safe. Always know I have your back. Please comment on this. Share links, share info, and keep the good news coming. Thank you. I mean, good news, obviously this is not good news for those, but just keep the news coming in general. I love making stories and keeping you informed. Enjoy.